Aries, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 29th through June 4th. This is for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and Aries Rising Signs. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Eight of Cups. All right, and this is an interesting spread. All right, so with the Eight of Cups, this is all about movement, looking to the future, very, very focused on the future, focused on moving forward. For some of you, it could be emotionally moving forward. You might be leaving something behind that's no longer serving you, something that maybe you invested a lot into emotionally, and it could be because maybe there's something new that's coming in because the overall energy for the week, Aries, is the Knight of Cups. So this definitely could be an offer that's coming to you, something that's very exciting for you. And that could be why we have the Eight of Cups here because I see you moving forward. Now, some of you are receiving some sort of offer, information, or news, and that's why you're moving forward. Or this could be your energy, Aries. You could be presenting an offer to someone now, this could be you extending your cup to someone. This could be definitely be a romantic offer for some of you. And then for some other Aries, you know, sometimes with the Knight of Cups, this can represent a person, someone from your past coming back. So, of course, for some of you, um, there could be someone from your past that's, that's significant this week. I'm not getting that so strongly. Um, but if that's the case, you know, this person might be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces. Now, you have a very interesting spread, very, very interesting spread here, Aries. So, you know, I might be speaking to a select number of Aries. If you can't resonate with it, um, that's fine. You know, take the, the messages that apply to you. Watch your other signs. Watch your rising. Watch your moon sign. Or I highly suggest having a private reading. Um, we're starting out with the world. We have the world, which is a very blessed energy. This is something that is completing, something has now come full circle in your life, Aries. But, you know, what I always say with the world is it's not something that happens overnight. This is you easing out of one cycle or easing out of one chapter of your life and then easing into the next. So I think that some of you are in this, uh, in this process, you're completing this maybe chapter cycle of your life uh, and that's being confirmed because diagonal with the world, we have the tower. So you have some pretty powerful uh, major arcana energies here. This is a very, very blessed energy. And sometimes this is very much needed um, with the tower. It's not automatically something negative. For some of you, this is something maybe being revealed, something that's coming to the surface. Because across from the tower, I have the ace of swords. So I think that, you know, your seeing something clearly this week for some of you you're getting down to maybe the truth of the matter you're finding something out something is being revealed for some of you and if it's time for you Aries to move forward with your life in some way some of you, I definitely see you doing that with the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. But then for some of you, you also might have, you know, a lot of fear when it comes to that with the Eight of Swords. So just needing to take caution with this energy here. This can be a self-restrictive sort of energy. Someone who is too scared, too nervous to move forward. So they're not doing anything. So just take caution with that. You know, if you've been feeling like this, that's coming to an end. If you were too nervous to move forward with something in your life, that's coming to an end. You're moving forward. This is something major that's taking place. For you, I don't feel like it's sudden. I don't feel like it's abrupt. I feel like this is something that you know about. It's something that's been ongoing. You're in this process. You're aware. You know exactly what this is. Now, it might have something to do with a water sign person. We have the King of Cups here. So Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Scorpio is coming through the strongest. So there could be an eerie Scorpio connection. Now, maybe this person is coming to you with this news, with this information for some of you. 
or you could be communicating with this person. Maybe you're speaking your truth to this person. For a small number of Aries, this could be a relationship that's coming to an end. Maybe it's with a water sign person. If not a water sign person, uh, maybe an ear sign person. So Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. We also have the Seven of Wands here, which is what I call that warrior spirit. This is someone who can come off as a little defensive. So some of you might be defending, you know, what it is that you want. But this is also someone who's very passionate, courageous, someone who has a lot of inner strength. It takes a lot to take, you know, this person is on higher ground, first of all, but it takes a lot to actually stand up to all of these other wands. You can see all of the other wands that are coming at this man, but he's, he's dealing with it. So for some of you, you, you know, you're defending what it is that you want, you're defending yourself, but you're not backing down. This, for some of you, you know, there could be something that you want, something you're very passionate about, and this is you really not changing your mind, not giving up, you're not settling, you're not backing down. So for those of you that, you know, are standing your ground with what it is that you want, just continue on you know, hanging in there um, with the Ace of Swords underneath. This is victory. This is victory after, you know, dealing with some obstacles, some challenges. And I, I definitely think that some of you, you know, this is like I mentioned, it's ongoing. And I think that you've been dealing with some challenges, maybe with some challenging people. If you've been dealing with any sort of deception, that's coming to light. So if you're an Aries that was dealing with any sort of deception, that's coming to light. Um, with the tower here, this can represent like the, the tower of lies that's coming crashing down. So if there was a person around you that was lying, it could be a water sign person. If there was someone around you that was lying to you, that could definitely be coming to light this week. Just take caution with this Five of Swords. I never like to see the Five of Swords with the Page of Swords here. And then we have the Seven of Wands. So I think that there could be some conflicts for some of you. It's just a general reading. This might not resonate with all of you, of course. Um, but I feel like there's someone around you that wants the truth. Now, it could be you but there's someone around you who is really seeking some sort of clarity, who wants the truth. And because maybe they want the truth, they're not going to stop. I feel like this person is kind of relentless, like they're not giving up. So it, it could be you, it could be someone you're with, someone very close to you. But because this person isn't giving up, when it comes to maybe finding something out because you know they're coming cr across so aggressive with their approach you know they're finding it out you know what it is that they're looking for it's coming out there's someone that really really wants the truth here so because maybe they're digging or whatever it is you know what it is that they're looking for is is coming out for some for some of you for some of you this is you so if you've been seeking some sort of clarity, and there's been a lot of confusion with this Ace of Eight of Swords, this can be confusion. So if you've been, been dealing with a lot of confusion, maybe some deception, and you've been trying to get down to the bottom of something, it, you're going to. That truth is coming in. Um, and for some of you, because you're seeing something clearly, because you're maybe seeing the truth, hearing the truth, that is now in some way allowing for you to move forward. So very, very interesting reading, Aries. Um, just watch your communication. For those of you that, you know, everything I just said doesn't really apply. When it comes to relationships, family matters, work situations, just watch your communication. 
you know, there could be there could be conflicts, there could be remarks that are maybe taken. You know, they things might be said and maybe they're mistaken, they're taken wrong. And because of that, you know, it could lead to something else here. And I don't want to see something small and petty and, and something that was really misunderstood, you know, taken the wrong way. And then maybe there's, you know, an explosion or some sort of argument because of that. So just, you know, take take caution this week, uh, Aries. Not all of you are going to resonate with that. And this could even be with your child. This could be with your child uh, for some of you. So if your child, you know, especially if you have like a teenager, if, you're, if your child is saying something and they're a little careless with their words, maybe just letting them be a teenager and just kind of maybe going your separate way, that would be, you know, what's, what's best for some of you. But let me pull you an additional guidance card additional guidance for Aries but whatever this is we have the world very blessed energy and then you also have the eight of swords here so you're going to be successful with overcoming whatever this is if you feel the need to speak your truth this week Aries you know I feel like it's a good it's a good idea but with you doing that you know, expect people to, to speak their truth right back. So, you know, again, just take caution. Don't allow something small to, to become, become something more if it doesn't have to be. Aries, additional guidance for Aries. All right, there. Wow, beautiful. Your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And this card came right out. So when cards flip out like that, you know, I find these messages to be the most significant. This is a beautiful confirmation. So for those of you that, you know, something is ending, everything, you know, I believe everything is meant to be. So Things are happening that are meant to happen. There's really no no need to worry. Um, your desire is, is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. You're going to be successful. Okay, Aries. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And I do wish you a wonderful week. Take care.